Uh, but Nightshade, I just checked my backlog and Shantae is on there. Did you search Shantae or are you looking for it in like DSiWare? Because it wasn't on DSiWare, it was on 3DS downloads. If you go to like scroll to the bottom, it says you could search Midnight's backlog and just type in anything. Like if you want to see all the Sonic games, just type in Sonic. You'll see all of them. I typed in Shantae and I saw Shantae. Seven Siren does have a release date? Oh, 3DS. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. Virtual Console 3DS. Okay, that's, I guess that's my fault then. Uh, let's change that. Because it's not a, a downloadable title. It is a game that existed back in the old days. Virtual Console 3DS. Update. There you go. Aquastar. That's not a band. <laughs> what time is it? It is 11.50. Uh, can y'all give me a heads up when it becomes 1.30? Because I'd like to end the stream around that time because I do have... Death. I do have an announcement a video going up at 2 and I'd rather not be streaming and keeping you all here while uh, that's going on. Yes, 4.30 your time. If you are indeed on the East Coast. So I would very much like it if you watch that update video. It's only like five minutes, so hopefully it's not too bothersome. Get the volcano back. There's no explanation as to how Kirby could do this in this game. He just can. Kirby just sort of does whatever he wants. In this game, he could combine his abilities. In this game, he could throw hearts at people and become their friends. In this game, Kirby's just really lazy and he doesn't want to use his feet, so he's going to roll around and use a magic wand that creates a rainbow bridge for him to, ro to roll across. I'm just like, okay, whatever floats your boat, Kirby. Too bad my streaming tools are limited. I could have played it live here. Well, no, I could, I could actually... We could go to the Wii U uh, internet browser and uh, watch it through there. That'd be fun. This rock shaped like something. Not gonna say what. Yeah, I was considering getting the genius. I was considering getting the sinkin Golden Sun 2 on Wii U eShop just cause I don't have it. There's only like a couple things left on the eShop that I want to get, so just like let's wrap it up. I recently got Gudermin on 3DS eShop. I didn't know it was on 3DS for a while, but um, it was on sale. It was like a super big sale, so I got it for like five dollars. But my SD card has been acting up, and I thought it was my 3DS this entire time, so I wound up replacing my new Nintendo 3DS XL with a different new Nintendo 3DS XL, which wasn't actually a new Nintendo 3DS XL. It was. A refurbished new Nintendo 3DS XL, but it has a dumb name. It's just called the new Nintendo 3DS XL. Hi, Theory. It was uh, the problem of the SD card and not the new Nintendo 3DS XL. So when I transferred my SD card from the old new Nintendo 3DS XL to the new new Nintendo 3DS XL, it didn't work. So I need to get a new SD card and get the stuff off of the old SD card from the old new Nintendo 3DS XL, which is now on the new new Nintendo 3DS XL, and then put it onto the new SD card so I could use it on the new 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 Nintendo 3DS XL. Boy. Hopefully that all made sense to you. Remember when Nintendo was terrible at naming things? I know it isn't Square Kirby. I'm sorry, April Fools. Tee hee 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 hee. I got gotcha. you. Y'all thought there would be squares. Well, hey, here's a square. Here's a square. And here's Kirby. I did it. Fury, you're, uh... I just passed Bobby, bro. They can name well. What? Uh, Fury, I saw your, uh, streaming... Uh... Bravely Second. And I got excited, because I only recently picked that game up again, and I'm trying to get through it. Can't remember where I was, though. Not sure how to describe it, but... I was playing it again. I just, like, YouTube searched how I could get easy level up so I could just sort of because I don't remember how to play competently so I just sort of want to beat it 
I, well, of course. I only became chapter one, okay. I really should be playing Bravely Second during this downtime. Because that'd be very a wise decision, I guess. Literally the only reason I beat Bravely Default was because it was in high I got in high school and I had literally nothing else to do back then. Yeah, I'm not a fan of you. I know that sounds weird. I was like, I don't like you, Nightshade. But no, I mean, I don't like the character you in Bravely Second. That's sort of what drew me out of it, unfortunately. Also, it's so weird. Like, this isn't a spoiler. It's just like a localization thing. In the first game, they pronounced the character Edia. Her name is pronounced as Edia. But in Bravely Second, they changed it to Idia. It's just like a very minor thing, but I noticed it. I'm just like, why? Thank God they kept the murderer. Love Magnolia and Tiz. Got maximum tomato. Thanks, Adeline. Finally. Huh. I'm shocked that worked. How do we get in there? This power-up isn't great. See, I'm super excited for Bravely Default 2, though. I'm also just confused as to why it's called Bravely Default 2. Like, what does Bravely Second count as then? I guess I, I need to play the game to actually find out. I'm just shocked that thing actually took off and has become like a long-running thingy. Is ED time the same as EST? Uh, I don't know. Can anyone else answer that? I got the trading card. What? That wasn't the trading card. Oy. It's like you saved me. Have my asterisk as well. I hate this power. Yeah, I was just trying to like make tough decisions on which ones I want and whatnot. I don't know what chapter I'm in as well. Like when for a second I was thinking how when Fury said she's on chapter one, I'm like, oh she's not that far into the game, but at the same time, that could be like the first 20, 30 hours of the game and still in chapter one. So maybe she is super far in it. The game is long. Uh, whoa, okay. But yeah, we'll keep the Bravely Default and Second Talk vague. Spoilers. Really in the chat, choose that's cool. Hoi. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> that was real gross. I'm sorry. I really should have muted the mic right then. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, come on! Ugh. Stop hurting me, you jerk. I can't even get up there. Get a sandwich? Now where do I go?
Uh, not my first time playing it. I've played it a bit in the past. I think this is the world I got stuck on. Maybe this is the level I got stuck on. Who knows? Oh, I'm locked in here. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. It froze for like a split second. Bandwich. Sandwich. Okay. We're good. Um... <clears throat> I mean, a ball. That's a boss? Oh, that explains it. I was like, what the fruit do I do? That explains it. I think this is the world I got stuck on. Or I just stopped playing. I couldn't hear the boss music because uh, muted audio and whatnot. I assume I need a combination of red and brown. I think that's fire and rock. Yeah, it's not my first time playing it, but it'll be my first time beating it. Waddle Dee! In a crate! This is adorable. <laughs> Look at their little hands! <laughs> Got all our health back, that's nice. Reminds me of the... The raft segment in... Whoa! In Tac 2. Which is a really fun game. It's such a weird concept. Instead of like being a Nickelodeon a game based off a show, it was an original concept made into a game by the Nickelodeon uh, game devs. And then it eventually got turned into a TV show later on. And then ever so conveniently, the games that are based off the show specifically are the ones that are terrible. But the ones that are completely original are actually really solid. Now this is the point where I go into my extreme adoration for Locke, the greatest character of all time. That stinking pig! Oh wait, 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 wait! Crystal shard. Thank you. I didn't finish the first five minutes of Chrono Trigger. <laughs> a lot of those games where it says unfinished, chances are um, I played it for like five minutes. <laughs> Same with Secret of Mana. I just got it, I tried it, I was like, that's cool. <laughs> I think I tried Chrono Trigger and Secret of Mana on the, on the same day, and I was like, just testing them both out. I'm like, that's cool. Oh, I died, oh well. Whoopsie doopsie. Yeah, when it comes to RPGs, like, I'm the absolute worst. Oi! Come up! Get! Get! Uh, okay. I think the only RPGs I've beaten are the Nintendo ones and Persona, Kingdom Hearts, Bravely Default. <laughs> That's about it. Oi! Balls in a ball sack. Oh, he tilts it upwards. I'm not beating Golden Sun, I'm sorry. I play like four hours of Chrono Trigger and need to play more. Yeah, I've heard nothing but good things about it over the years, but... Ugh, just never got around to it. I'm excited to finally play Final Fantasy VII when that comes out. If you missed the announcement yesterday, yes, I will be streaming that when it comes out. Probably what's going to happen is after I beat Kirby 64, then we're going to do uh, the Paper Mario bonus videos, then Kingdom Hearts Remind DLC, and then Final Fantasy 7. Lots of Zelda not beaten. Yeah, I'm not a Zelda buff, even though I, I have like every single Zelda game in existence. I like you're still going through my backlog. You're just like, I must judge you the entire stream. But it's funny though, so I enjoy it. Um, I also just like look going through the backlog. You're like, look at all these games I have. Look at all these games I haven't beaten. Mimi Kirby, is this your is Royal your first time playing Persona in general? If so, I hope you're having an amazing time. And if not, I still hope you're having an amazing time. But if it's like your first time playing Persona 5, that's awesome. I hope you enjoy the heck out of it. And that did nothing. Do you give me anything? No. You're just a really cool enemy. 
like I think the only Zelda games I've beaten are Wind Waker, Skyward Sword, and I think Twilight Princess. I was like, did I beat it? I don't know. I've seen like so many LPs, like that's just gonna mess me up. Like I want to let's play Twilight Princess, but I've seen so many different LPs of it and so many different versions, and I can never. Like, all of them are inconsistent. Like, this one's 100%. This one's not 100%. This one's the GameCube version, so everything's uh, on the right side. This one's on the Wii version, so everything's on the left side. And it's just super confusing, like, how they mirror the entire world based on what version you get. And I, don't, I really didn't like that. Like, if I ever get around to it, I don't know what I'm going to do. It's just... I'm kind of worried that Wind Waker is... Because that is my favorite Zelda game and one of my favorite games of all time. So, I just feel kind of bad that any Zelda game I let's play after is just going to be underwhelming. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with that. You've beaten the original Persona 5. It's your favorite game. It's one of my favorite games of all time, too. It's my favorite Persona game, that's for sure. Yeah, I will, I will play the HD version. But it's just that, like, all my memories are with people playing, like, the GameCube and Wii versions. And I can't remember what goes where. And it's just a big game in general. Went through Persona 3, but didn't get past the final boss before... I had to return the game to your friend. Oh, that's horrible. I'm sorry. I'm hoping they make a... They remake Persona 3. Because that needs to be happening. They released a poll recently. Uh, Atlas did. Saying, like... They were trying to gauge interest on whether or not we wanted Persona 5 Scramble. I'm like, obviously we wanted it. Are you kidding me? You're just now asking to see if we're interested? Have you not been listening this entire stinking time? I don't know. Like, Atlas is just weird. They just do a lot of dumb decisions. <laughs> Sometimes they don't make decisions. Got maximum tomato. Hello. Yeah, there needs to be a definitive version of Persona 3 because like way too many of them and everyone has like their different opinions on which one's the best one. And it's just super stinking old, so like I had a really hard time playing Persona 4 for the first time because I started with five and Everything that I wish was there wasn't there. And I wasn't able to enjoy 4 as much as other people were. And I know for a fact that, like, I would have a really hard time going back into 3. Like, coming from 5 and 4. From what I've been told. Uh, let's not do that. No! No! Also, soggy cake. I have soggy cake. Hey, look, it's a Dreamcast logo. <laughs> okay, whatever. I don't need no power up. Ouch. Of course. Hello, boss fight. Yeah, a lot of people have actually recommended I just watch the Persona 3 anime if I want to experience Persona 3. What the fruit? How do I get over in that little corner? Ugh. Oh, jeez. Ouch, 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 ouch. Stop it! What? Eh? The anime movies for Persona 3 were neat. Oh, you're saying, eh? I thought you'd be like, eh? Nani? Okay, maybe they haven't recommended that. Balls. Social links are skipped. Okay, I get it, Nightshade. I won't watch the movies. We'll do it. I'll be a good noodle. Oh, uh, without spoilers, did anyone watch the Persona 5 anime? Did that one end up being good? <laughs> Nightshade. Oh my god. Ooh. 
Uy. I'd say you reminded me a lot of my best friend right now. Like, I, I, <laughs> I make fun of her a lot because, like, whenever she's texting me, she never texts me an actual sentence. She just texts me some words, and then she'll text me even more words. She'll send a million messages that eventually form a sentence or a cohesive conversation <laughs> instead of just a singular message. And then she gets mad at me because all my messages are way too long, but it's just that... Oh, that's awkward. What the fruit happened? What? <laughs> So I get for making fun of my friend at Nightshade. But then, like, I send essay messages, but she just thinks they're essays because they're all... Everything I wanted to say is in a single message. Oi. Oi. Oh, that was actually a power-up? What? Also, how can I suck underwater? Can't swallow underwater. Unless I reach the ground first. Double bomb. Just threw a missile at my mouth. Oh jeez, oh no. And then let's not even get into all the anime that I need to sink and watch that I haven't watched yet. I'm still working my way through that. I saw the two. Oh hey, this is a perfect time to talk about that because. Uh, free. I got the. Because we're swimming and whatnot. Basically, I saw the Free Starting Days movie, which was pretty good. It was like a prequel movie. Talk about what happened in their younger days and stuff. Yes, Goo, catch you later midnight. I'll buy Akisavo. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a good day. I hope you have a great, amazing, awesome, outstanding, wonderful, splendiferous day. And Knuckles. I played DuckTales Remastered. It's basically the same thing. Might as well just mark it off say I beat it because I beat the remastered version. Like, that's usually what I do on, on there. Like, for example, I have multiple copies of Kirby Superstar. Uh, because I have it on Virtual Console and I have it on this collection disc. So when I updated my backlog, I was saying, like, I, I just beat Superstar. I said I beat it on Virtual Console and on SNES Classic and the collection disc. Because I have three different copies of it. Because, <laughs> like, come on, I beat the game. I don't need to say, like, I only beat it on this console, even though it's, like, the exact same thing. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, I want the... No! Why do you do this to me? It's not midnight and beyond yet. Yo, though, it's almost midnight. You'll carry out for tomorrow. What time is it where you are, Aki? You don't mind me asking. Where in the world is Aki San Diego? Yeah, I recently got Trombon, because it was on sale on PSN. I know that game was, like, stupid expensive, if you want a physical copy of it. Oi. Oh, jeez. You're just walking on the water floor. So here's my Mega Man problem. I bought Mega Man's 1 through 5 on Virtual Console. I never played any of them. <laughs> I then got 6 and 7 on Wii U Virtual Console. Never played them. I also got 9 and 10 on Wii Virtual Console because they were exclusive to there at the time. Never played them. And then... Like, I was just waiting for Mega Man 8, just, I sort of just wanted all the Mega Man games so I could say I had all the Mega Man games. But, I, I don't know, I very clearly was not into Mega Man in general, but I still wanted to collect all of them. And then, they make this thing in collection disc, which was really lame. 
And it's like a kick in the crotch because like if I had just waited, I probably would have gotten the amiibo bundle, the one that came with the sinking golden Mega Man amiibo because I never got that. I was just like, I have all the games already, so there's no point in it spending $40 just for the amiibo. But of course it was like sinking gold, so it was super rare. So I was a fool to not get it. Even though the golden amiibo literally does nothing. It's just literally smash Mega Man, but in gold form. I have gold Mario and gold Shovel Knight, but I don't have gold Mega Man. I also don't have regular Shovel Knight. So yeah, I, if I didn't already have all the Mega Man games on Virtual Console for the Wii, well, most of the Mega Man games, I probably would have gotten the Mega Man Legacy collections on 3DS and Switch, and then X as well, but I know for a fact I'm not going to play any of them. So I just shouldn't do it. But just sort of like a piece of gaming history thing that I just sort of wanted to have it. I like the character trombone because like I played Marvel vs. Capcom 3 for a bit and that's where I got attached to trombone. And I haven't uh I haven't played Legends so I don't have anything to base it off of. Because I don't actually own Legends yet. So maybe I'll be into it. Or maybe I was just wasting money. Have I seen any of them? I feel like I... Did... Is that the video Ant Dude just made recently? Was that Legends? So is that what Trombon is going to be like? If so, I guess I've seen Legends. And it looks the same as every other Mega Man game out there. But then like, there's also Mega Man X. Which... There's so many single Mega Man games! In another happy whale! Hello, friend! At least you get to suck underwater. I just acknowledge that. I'm like, wow, we're actually using the suction ability underwater. Hooray. Don't have to sing and squirt the entire time. Oh, this is like the best ability to have underwater. It's like we get the rebound. Uh, his most recent video. Oi. Oh, come on! Oh. I hate everything. I know! Oh, come on! This guy's a jerk. Uh, balls. And he exploded! Hooray! And we're falling! Hooray! Wait, did I just die? Wait. I died, didn't I? I did do that again! Are you kidding me? I thought I just beat the ball! Oh! It was an escape section? Ugh. Guys, why why are video games so hard? Oi, why can't I hit you? Let your guard down. Every other fight didn't have an escape section. Okay, blow up the stinking whale. It's really morbid. <laughs> it's so sad he falls down there. Auto scroller, cool. Ouchies. How come the falling rocks don't hurt me, but when he spits out a rock at me, it hurts me. It's at the same speed. This doesn't even do anything. It wasn't even difficult. Okay, maybe it's gonna be difficult now. So now there's another boss fight. 
Oh, he's back. Oh, loud, he coming. And down to one HP again. Cool beans. Oh wait, I made a terrible mistake. Oh no. Guys, is there a way to eat without pressing down? I'm dead. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't remember this boss at all, so I assume this is all new stuff for me. I don't think I ever got past Aqua Star. Oy. Get out of the way! Go for it. Okay, <laughs> Kirby. Oh, no, 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 stinking drowned again. I thought there was like an invisible floor down there that wouldn't like fall anymore. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. I probably could have gotten it. I was being a butt. Why didn't you buy Shack Food Nightshade? That was like my second unboxing video on my channel. <laughs> I unboxed Shaq Fu. I was like, this isn't a box. Again, it was just like part of gaming history. Because I have standards. <laughs> No! I just realized I can't swim when I use that! I can't swim when my spine is out! So that's what the problem was. God stinking darn it. I really hate you. So how do I fight him if he's always at the bottom? And if I attack once, then I lose my spine. Guys, give me tips. What, are, like, what's the, what, what could I do? What's the best combination of what I could do right now? I think double cut is just like a larger boomerang. So even more spinal loss. <laughs> I just quit. Could try again. That make me lose a life. 
Yeah, it did. <laughs> I could ditch the power in phase two. Oh, I still have it, but... Thank you. Okay, we got double cutter. It's gonna be useless though. So all it does is give me a big old saw blade. It's a maybe it could be a bit quicker. Let's see how this goes. I only have two stinking health though, so probably not. Just stay down there, stupid butt. Maybe we can just wrap the fight up quicker. I kind of want to just try again right now so I can have double cutter and try to keep full health. Okay. So just be patient then. It's like fishing in general. It's got rockets now. I got this, I got this. Oh, I don't got this! Oh. Okay. Stay away, stay away, stay away. Yeah, baby! We got it. It is 12.30. Could I beat the rest of the game in just an hour? <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, I wanted to finish the way out with Hunter, but we just never got around to it. Kirby. Whoa! And now he's dead. <laughs> but it's a cutscene death, so everything's a-okay. <laughs> 